Hi guys, I'm going to be doing a video pretty quick for the Korg Kronos and how to load and stream via virtual memory. So if you bought a Uber Analog, Uber Americana, or Uber Jupiter, or any one of those combinations, this is how you load it, how you stream it, and save a lot of memory. Alright, first, you could, like I said on my little message I sent you guys, go ahead and just load up either your files or whatnot. Make sure you've got at least uh, 500 megabytes of free space, if possible, just, just, just in case, even though these really stream on low-level numbers, 77 megabytes to stream one per se, uh, you can easily, easily have enough room for more when you take your collections and just stream them with uh, virtual memory instead of using up the RAM. God, you, lose, you use up the RAM, do it if you're going to be using your digital recorder and trying to do it that way. It just makes it so much easier. So um, what I'm going to do is, it's pretty easy. Uh, I've already loaded the Uber files into, from disk mode into the actual, um, uh, on the actual SSD. So it's easy. Don't load these files, I'd say, or any like sample collections and try to stream them from an external device. It's best to just dump those files onto the SSD, uh, the hard drive, and be able to stream it directly from there. It's less stress on the processor and whatnot, so try not to stress it out. So it's pretty simple. Just go ahead and go into global mode. That's the first step. We're going to go into global mode. It's a pretty nice page. It's easy to read and whatnot. So here we go. Hopefully my focus on this. Uh, let's see. Go into KC Auto Load. That's what you want to do. The big thing is I don't understand what's going on on this page. People say, oh, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Well, it's a simple page, as a matter of fact. So let's go ahead and uh, get down into details. I want to add Uber Jupiter. I want to add Uber Americana. And I want to add Uber Analog 2.0. Well, one volume one, F 2.0 F is the final version of it, and it's pretty darn cool. I love Uber Analog, obviously. So does a lot of people around the world. And I'm very blessed. So go ahead and add KSC is what you're going to want to do. Let's see. We're going to go to. I'm just going to go ahead and do uh, Uber Americana. Open it up. I wanted to get the user KSC files. What we're trying to do. We're going to get the Uber Americana user bank ksc and we're going to add see that it says add add simple and i'm going to do that also as you can see now in the kc auto load ksc auto load page now you see the preload which will load ksc settings okay ksc is like going into ram so it fills up some of your ram uh uber americana as you see the user bank ksc has now been added which is pretty cool uh, it's going to be uh, 71 megabytes if I stream it, 1.1 gig if I use RAM. So what I want to do is I want to change that KSE settings. I'm going to change that to virtual memory now while I'm still here doing this. Let's go ahead and change that out. I'll do the drop down, my bad. There you go, virtual memory. You all see that? It says virtual memory. That's what we want. Bam. So it's going to be using up 71 megabytes if that. Uh, it basically will because that's what it's streaming uh, percentage will be. I'm going to add another. Let's go ahead. Let's see. I'm going to go up get back to the main page. There's 2.0F for our beautiful Uber analog collection. So I'm going to hit that K user bank KSC and add it to. Wham! So now we're seeing the uh, KSC auto load page real quick. There we go. And we've got all these beauties here. We've got the preload again. Uh, uh, at Uber Analog Volume 1 2.0F. We've got Uber Americana. I'm going to add another because I want to do Uber Jupiter too. So I'm going to go back to the main, pa main page for the hard drive. I'm going to open up Uber Jupiter. Same thing. Just touch it, add it into. Bam. Now, as you can see, there's a couple that need to be changed over from uh, KSC settings to virtual memory. Uber Americana is already uh, in virtual memory. Uber Jupiter needs to be changed. So we'll try that one. Put it to virtual memory also. And I'm going to also select this one here, Uber America, uh, Uber Analog. I'm going to hit that drop down and go directly into virtual memory. So now all of these are going to stream and save, look at this, 71 megabytes for Uber, um, Uber Americana, 64 megabytes to stream for Uber Jupiter, 
and Uber Analog is only 66 megabytes, and you still have RAM. Look at this. I, this specific Kronos has the extra one uh, gigabyte uh, uh, DIMM put into it, so it's got the extra RAM. So it gives it three gigs total. All right, so here we go. I've got all of these going good. This is really cool. Now, I've got them, and they're going to be able to be streamed, but i got to do this. It says, do auto load now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them into the memory banks. This will erase EXI, blah, 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 blah. Let's see. Let's see. KSC files. We want that one to do again. Yeah, we're going to just do it because you want the preloads to be reloaded again just in case. That's just sample stuff. It's not going to change your PCGs. You have to load the PCGs in next. That's the big step after. And the cool thing is, once we get all the stuff finally loaded up, you will be able to just turn on your Kronos. All of these will load via virtual memory, and you won't have to worry about killing your RAM, which you will be using for, uh, say, if you're doing studio work and you're recording your vocals or a guitarist or another external instrument in it. So hopefully that will help out a little bit better. Do, 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 do. It takes a little while because I'm doing three full collections for virtual memory, and I'm reloading the, the preloads. Oh, yeah, the sounds in the background are from the uh, Prophet 600 Tetra and uh, Poly Evolver keyboards that I have for the Uber Americana collection uh, available on eBay right now. Cool. And of course, uh, if you were lucky enough to catch the cool uh, buy one, get one free collection in June 2014, I did, uh, you were able to get most of all these collections in one. All right, so we've got them all loaded and ready to go into our RAM. I've got here the preload and, of course, the streaming. And I still have, because I'm not doing anything in RAM right now, and I have 932 left in memory to use because I'm virtually memorying, memorying, <laughs> virtual memorying it. All right, it's going to go, now I go into disk mode. That's the fun part. There's actually going to be doing some disk work. This is where you load in the PCGs to whatever banks you're going to require. So I'm going to go ahead and take Uber Jupiter. I'm going to do this, and I'm going to open it. Okay, programs. I can do open. All right, here you go. Okay. FFGG, if I want to. I can load it anywhere I want to, as a matter of fact. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one, and I'm going to load it where I want to. See, this thing is the funny thing. People don't know that you can put uh, PCGs in other sections instead of what they're originally destined for. So just drop down. Let's find a spot. I'm going to do user double AA for the first bank. Bink. And I'm going to load the second one in the following, which is we BB, user BB. I'm do my drop down. And those sounds you're hearing are from the Kronos in these Uber Analog, Uber Americana, and Uber Jupiter collections. All right, so I'm done with that collection. I'm going to go into, okay, one more time up, into Uber Americana and load those files on PCGs. So wherever I want to put them, you'll see what I'm saying? This is really cool. You can customize a lot. Oopsie, I didn't mean to up that. My bad. Partying too much in the future. Okay, we're going to do the PCGs. Load. Just a minute. Open. There we go. So I'm going to do... This one's going to be a big bank because there's lots of files in this one here. So I'm going to put those up. Let's see where I want to do it. Hmm, I'm going to do it in a different spot. GM, I'm going to do a user D for the first bank of DD. is going to go to user D just to fill up those. And I'm going to go down the line with that load. User E, etc. Oopsie. Sometimes I'm just too fast for the Kronos. It looks at me funny sometimes when we're alone. <laughs> You can always scroll. Make it easy. Okay, I'm doing these in user bank, not user double double. So 
See, that's just you got user and then you got double user. And that's where I put all of this stuff so it doesn't take up a lot of the original presets, factory stuff that might be useful for some. I want to have a piccolo and a center and a tabula or tabula or whatever they call them. And okay, cool. So I got those. And I'm going to go up, up for the final bank, which is going to be Uber Analog. And I'm going to put those in the double user bank. PCG. Loody. Nope, I, I have to open first. My bad. I keep doing that. I'm silly. Musicians, we get that way with technology. All right, cool. So I did that and that. So I'm going to do this one. Load. Let's see. We did A and B. Double D. Yeah. <laughs> God, I love that. Okay. I just like the fact that you can do this. Customize what you want. Put the suckers in the sections you want. And see, these ones are pre-synced because you know I'm chosen. I've chosen those user double banks. Like here's the user double GG. That's a big girl now here. All right, sorry we're so bouncy and moving around. I just want to get this darn thing up uh, up online so people can really see how easy this is to load these sounds. So go in there, I'm going to do a double GG. That's glory. That's an awesome sound. Profit 600. Let's see. See? I'm done. These are now loaded in. The PCGs are going to be there. They're going to obviously save until I'm done. So let's see what else we got here. Oh, Juno 106. Very cool. God, I love the Kronos. It's such an easy synth to do, and you can. Let's hear some. Uh... Oh, yeah. Got some uh, MKS 80 and Jupiter 6. So that's simple. That is simple as hell to load these sounds. Um, remember, just follow the steps first. It all goes with the global section first, my friends. Not disc mode. Load. Get those things into your into your memory by virtual memory, my friends. This is a very simple thing. Now, here's the big trick. I'm going to go ahead and turn it off and on. And I'll show you that, oh yeah, final thing, final thing. Go to your basic page. That, this is, I think, one of the most important things that, that people, I think, forget about while they're working on loading uh, and streaming uh, is they forget to write global, write global setting. Now that you've got that, when I turn this keyboard off and on, it's going to go ahead and remember all those streaming files that I want. So now that I've written it, it's ready to go. You know, I'm going to go ahead and turn this sucker off, even though I love these sounds. We have some Poly Evolver, baby. Hell yeah. I'm going to go down to some Poly... Oh, Prophet 600. So remember, stream makes it easy. Just do it like I just did it, baby. Bye. Now it's loading in, as you can see, the preloads. And what we're going to be testing is, hey, babe, did the sounds load? Did the sounds load when you turn it on? Right, here we go. Let's see that red bar go all the way to the end. And it's going to be loading in the RAM. There's Uber Analog right there. There's Uber Jupiter. Uber Americana just loaded. And back to processing banks and finishing up. So there's a verification that all three banks are going to load with the preloads whenever the Kronos is turned on.
And that goes for any sample bank collection that you've saved and are lo uh, loading the user bank KSC files in your global KC autoload page. As long as you set up that stuff, and then remember, go to the basic page at the very end when you're done loading those all on and writing your global settings. You are confirming yourself that you are definitely going to be cool and have that kick-ass collections loaded whenever those those flashy lights start. Right there, those two. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Almost done. And uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to immediately go into the Uber collections and start playing a couple sounds proving, hey, there's my lunch. Hell yeah. Uber sounds, Uber food. All right, cool. I'm going to go there. I'm going to go into Wham, Juno 106. Uh huh. Okay. This is a long sound, a little comet. the Juno 106. All right, so there it goes. There's proof positive that these sounds work and that they are part of your collection if you are cool enough to want to have analog in there. Real analog, babe. Very cool. Very cool. Ooh, Oberheim's. Oh, where's my Mo collection? I'm up to check this. Tetras. Ooh, poly evolvers. I don't like all those synthesizers. I wish I could have them all. Oh, I can in one keyboard. Remember, you're not replacing those synthesizers. You're getting the like a an essence of those kind of sounds with these sample collections. And the good thing is it will make you want to buy the real thing. I support Dave Smith instruments. I support Moog. I support Roland and Korg, especially Korg, cannot wait for the Odyssey. Just remember, this this Kronos is the bomb. Can you? I cannot wait till they come out with a music workstation just like the Kronos, but with a real analog engine inside. It's going to be a monster, and it's probably going to be about thirty-three to five thousand dollars. But by God, it would be totally cool. Anyways, love you guys, bless you all, and uh, thank you for purchasing the Uber products. Hope this helps you learn how to stream. Uh, not just the Uber product, but any other uh, sample collection for the Quark Kronos. Bless you guys. Y'all take care. Thanks. Rick signing out. Bye.